In this video, we will try to see how we can quickly mate with two rooks. So, we will use a website called chesspuzzlesonline.com. We will set up our own puzzle and then we will solve it. We will also show how to do that. So, you go to chesspuzzlesonline.com. It's a nice tool basically where you can set up your own. Uh, Let's say we are white and we have two rooks here, somewhere like something like that. Uh, maybe the king is lying over here. I can set up it randomly like this. Once I set it up and I click on play this position on computer, so that takes us to here. Now, here is the main concept about it. What we try trying to do is. Uh, we should have a concept of a uh, rank and file so basically king is on fifth rank so we are trying to cut off this king along a uh, rank right now let's say it's white's play uh, white's move you want the king not to come on this side on rank four three four three two and one we want it to slowly uh, push it farther away along one of the ranks so for example right now our this rook on b3 is making sure that the king cannot go on rank 3 and lower but it can still come on rank 4 so how do I prevent this king from coming on rank 4 I do it using this pawn movement once i move this rook on h2 to h4 we will guard the rank 4 the only thing that king can do is either move somewhere on the rank 3 or retreat back to rank 6 so let's make this move the computer makes his movement and now this one has gone on rank 5th i would have liked to move this rook over here on b5 but it's gonna kill me hey, i don't want to suicide but i do want to place my rook if i could on maybe somewhere here or somewhere here and give him a check in that case the king will not be able to move anywhere on five and four four is protected by the rook on h1 and if i could place this rook over let's say here or here on g5 or h5 then the king will retreat here now i cannot move here so i what i do is i move it all the way to the right and now the king has to retreat somewhere it doesn't want to go back over here because it wants to uh, make it as as long as possible as long as it can hang around now my, my next strategy is to make this rook over here the king will not be able to move on this rank the king will not be able to move on this rank because it's protected by the rook over h4 so it will have to retreat back to the sixth rank so let's see how it goes on i move it here the king goes back to six so we have slowly shifted it two ranks on this side and slowly on gradually we want to make it all the way to here and then we will checkmate now i can make my this rook on four to jump to six and then it will not be able to move on sixth rank anywhere on the sixth rank anywhere on the fifth rank it will retreat back further so let's make this move so now it retreats back to this i would have liked to continue this but if i make this move the king will be killing this so i move back all the way to the other side it goes so it's trying to eat up this rook so i may, may move it here now if I move it here, it won't be right. I do go it step by step and make it move here so that I now I am guarding the seventh and the sixth rank. And finally, in the last step, I move my rook over to here and then it's checkmate. So the basic concept is to slowly move my rooks one by one, making this king to to shift along a rank or a file it calls 
could also be do it could also make it shift vertically by slowly sliding making the thing slide on along this uh, uh, files a b c d to h5 you can set up your own puzzle at chesspuzzlesonline.com and then practice it that's the only way to learn set up maybe like here and here and try to see uh, if you can checkmate it one of the things that you want to keep in mind is to see what the minimum number of the steps you want to take to checkmate it uh, once again this is the website that you want to go to practice it chesspuzzleonline.com checkmate with two roots make sure you practice as many as possible Yeah.